Now I'll just start in on the questions while our guests eat, and they will later on become the questioners themselves. Let me start with this idea of a food tour. So food tours are more and more popular today. People will go to Mexico, to France, Italy, even Thailand. But the China food tour is not always so popular with Americans or Westerners. If you were to try to sell someone on a version of, say, a 12-day China food tour, what would your case for that sound like? Well, China has the world's preeminent cuisine, absolutely unparalleled in its diversity and its sophistication. You can find practically everything you could possibly desire in terms of food in China, from exquisite banquet cookery, exciting street food, bold spicy flavors, you know, honest farmhouse cooking, delicate soups, just everything, apart perhaps from cheese, although they do actually have a couple of kinds of cheese in Yunnan province. And um, yeah, and also because, um, you know, China is such a food orientated culture, and it has been since the beginnings of history, that if you want to understand China almost more than anywhere, or anywhere else, like food is a really good window into the culture, into the way people live, into history, everything. Okay, so 12 days, give us a quick itinerary. Where should you go? Well, um, you could look at the sort of uh, greatest hits, say the four great cuisines you'd perhaps want to cover. So you might go to Beijing to taste some sort of um, imperial food, Shandong cooking, the wonderful wheat foods of the north. So pastas, dumplings, breads. This is the wheat eating part so of China. Three cities, name them. Three cities. 12 days, I'm not going to give you 14. What are they? <laughs> three cities. Um, mm. Um, Beijing, Chengdu, and Hangzhou. 